Hello everybody. Welcome back to Work Right Planner. My name is Erica. I am so glad that you are with me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and uh, join our community over here. I am new to the budgeting community. I am not new to budgeting. Um, I'm giving this a whirl. So, you know, if you'd like any of this comment just go ahead and hit the subscribe button I'm glad to have you and I do watch for comments and reply when I can so you know feel free to leave a comment today is only my second ever cash envelope stuffing um, we're gonna start by going through the cash envelopes and recording any transactions that happened making sure that our balances are right and then we'll move into actually stuffing I am a pretty low income a single income and um, so I don't have a whole lot of cash to stuff I know you can see that but um, we're still going to do it because no matter how low your income is it's still important to be intentional about your money in fact I would say it's more important to be intentional about your money so let's just jump in this now funny story my son okay not so funny story but you know I was late stuffing my envelopes I don't think I stuffed them until last Wednesday and on Tuesday I got a call that my son had been exposed to or my son was positive for COVID-19 he had been at my house on Sunday um, he's grown now, newly grown, but, you know, has decided to move out of the house and that's fine. He, um, he's positive for COVID-19. So of course we're on quarantine and today is the first day that I can get tested. So we have not been out of the house all week long. It's saved me some money, y'all. <coughs> saved us all some money. So, there are not a whole lot of transactions to record, but there are some. So, we're going to look at the eating out envelope. And we had $40 in here. The way that I work the cash envelopes is if I spend money out of here, I always ask for a receipt and I'll just slide the receipt in there until the end of the week. Um, and just keep a mental note of how much money is in there as I go. So, on the day I stuffed it, 721, I stopped and got some cheese sticks, y'all. I also, I keep my change separate. I don't put my change in my envelopes, which is why I don't worry about whether or not the envelopes have a flat, because the dollars don't fall out of here. It's, uh, it's plenty loose to get your cash in but it's tight enough that it's not going to fall out um, I put all of the change in together and just pull from it as I need to if it starts to become a lot then I'll pull the change out and actually do something with it but until then it just rides in the change purse on my wallet but what I'll do is this transaction was 348 I did not have exact change to go with it according to what they entered for cash so I'm going to put a full $4 on here, which should leave me $36 in my envelope. And we can just get rid of that. Pull this out. No, I have 31. Well, that is no good. And my money is backward. Y'all, somebody has been in my envelope. That is not cool. There are very few things that make me angry like that. Anyway, 
To make my balance correct, I'll put unknown and I will deal with that later. We're going to do minus five because I'm missing my five dollar bill. And we'll take that down to 31. Okay, so $31 is what our balance is in the eat out envelope. This envelope doesn't have any receipts in it, but I did spend money in gas. Imagine that. So I spent $20. Got gas on the twenty second. So I should have a hundred and eighty dollars in my envelope. I can get rid of that now. Let's see if this one's right. Okay, sorry. I count in my head. I'm not used to this. Okay, 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40. Yeah, y'all. Okay, let's fix this. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80. So $180. At least my amount's right. I bet I broke the 50 and just put all the money in the front on that one because I was rushing to get to my other job. But our balance is right on that, so I'll just slide this right back in here. I um, had no grocery transactions, and of course, this one had no money in it. So, we are done recording transactions for the last little bit. Now, I do have two jobs, but I'm only going to stuff envelopes when I get paid for my main job because the bulk of my income comes from there and it's just going to be easier. With that job, I get paid semi-monthly. So twice a month, um, I will have cash stuffing videos and we'll update all this. Anyway, so for this paycheck, um, I get paid today, so now we're back on track. Um, for gas, let's see, for eating out, we are not putting in anything. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. $16. We'll fix that. $16. Personal money is going to get 20 Gas is going to get 50 Groceries is going to get nothing. And the joint miscellaneous is going to get nothing. 50 70 we're going to have $86 total. Okay. Now, eating out, we'll have... A 10, a 5, and a 1. 20 bucks. I'm just going to stick a 20 in there. And for the gas, we'll just throw the 50 in. Which means we should have 150, 120, 110, 15, and 11. One, which is what I have. Um, there's only one bill sitting there for each one of those. Um, but this is how I figure out what I need from the bank. Okay. So... Eating out, we need $16, 10, 15, 16. We're going to pull out our thing, say 730. Deposit plus 16, and that should give us 47. So, 
20, 30, 40, 5, 6, 7. Oops, sorry. Off screen. Okay. There we have that one. 4-my-envelope. I am actually, I think, going to use this money as much as possible to finally get my hair done because I don't know about you guys, but I had an appointment to get my hair done before they shut down the salons March of last year. <sighs> my appointment was on a Friday and they shut the salons down on Thursday. This is my luck, y'all. This is my luck. Anyway, I've not had my hair done and I generally wait six months to a year before I get it done because I'm just I'm not very high maintenance but um, I have masses and masses of hair and having waited it had been a year since I'd had my hair done and or almost a year and now it's been like over two my hair is out of control and I've got to do something with it anyway okay so we're gonna save up for getting hair done in this envelope so we didn't spend anything did I miss a bill oh I took money out of this at the office um what day was Monday? 7.26. Um, I'm going to put B-E-R-V because it was for a bereavement gift for a co-worker. I did take money out of that. So that I didn't have to take it from any of the family stuff. So yeah, that $10 is me. Okay, so I've got $20. That's the reason there was no receipt for that. Um, if you have something like that, do your best to write that down right then because sometimes you will forget that you took that out, but that one was absolutely me. So what I am adding to this one is 20 bucks. So we will have $40. 2040. I'm not sure when I'll go get my hair done. This whole two jobs thing kind of puts a damper on being able to do that kind of thing sometimes, but we shall see. Okay. And for gas, we have $50. So that should bring us to $230. Okay, so <clears throat> y'all saw last time, I'm a little bit weird when these 50s get in here. So I got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 210, 220, 230. Okay, so we've got 230. That's just easier for me, right? Is it easier for y'all? Because it's definitely easier for me. Okay, so we've got 230. We are not putting anything in groceries and I'm not going to change anything on here because that amount we've already um, well I don't know that we cat we counted this let's make sure it's all there it should be a hundred 20 40 60 81 yep we're good okay 
and then the other envelope is empty as it should be. So this is everything stuffed and ready to go back in my wallet. Okay, like I said, very, very low income going in these envelopes, but the point is for me to be able to hold on to them. Um, I can go and get tested for COVID today. Hopefully I'm negative and things can go back to normal for my household. Um, but we shall see. Thank you for joining me, guys. I will see you all um, soon for some budget with me. Okay, bye.